And that was like, okay, I got a little laugh out of that. But other than that, I was like, uh, I got some not, laughs, no, but as a whole, no, no, my, right. my thing is, you know, after seeing that shit, like, you deserve that slap, my boy. You deserve <laughs> to get the shit <laughs> slapped out of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for, you know, like, antagonizing this woman for the last 20 years, like, and then cop on him, national TV, call this woman a bitch again. You know what I'm saying? Like, not again, but just call her a bitch. And then uh, talking he, he down on... He basically explains how that whole narrative is he bullshit. Yeah, but even talking down on black women. and but then He wasn't at, talking down on black women. He, he was talking down say, on her. He tried to say she started it. But yeah, Meghan Markle, too. And he he talking down on black women. He has a history of talking about down on black women and black women hair and this and, and this and that and the other. He's but, a comedian. He's got to make some fucking jokes. But then, it, the, but this again, he's saying, oh, we shouldn't slap each other in front of these white people. Yeah. But you get... No, but no, no. We, jokes are okay. Yeah. Hitting people is not. You learn this in elementary school, right? But you know, being rude, you feel me, and, and saying rude shit, and and it's not and, rude. and, and it's an angry him making jokes. But we know this is not a joke towards Jada Pinkett she calling her a is. bitch. She, had, on, she does. We call baby women bitches all the time. No, we fucking don't. Yes, we do. It's the not most common here. thing in the world on hip hop. Yeah, but <laughs> if she has she had alopecia, bro. That's something that that's she shit can't funny control. too. She got a fucked up haircut. Nah. He's gonna slap your ass next. Nah. <laughs> Let's go. Nah. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm saying he's a fucking comedian. He's got to be able to make jokes without people deciding to just randomly virtue signal and say, oh, he's trashing black women. No, he's a motherfucking comedian making jokes about his own people. And when, yes, when, he feels comfortable making... Reli- huh? When does the joke become personal? That's personal. When somebody chooses to take it personal. It was, when Will Smith goes yeah, crazy it was, and it was, smacks a motherfucker on stage and destroys his own career. It was definitely personal, and Will should have waited until after the shit was done. You know what I'm saying? If He, he could have did the same shit. Clearly, nah, Will, shit on, clearly Will mishandled yeah. the situation. Yeah. There's no denying that. Because you've seen what has become of his career, and it's not pretty. But no, what's has become gonna, of his career? Will, he just came out with a fucking another movie. Yeah, Will's gonna that's, be out. Yeah, a, one movie that they filmed Smith. before all that shit that they almost didn't even he put got, out. He got Bad Boys Four coming out. He got motherfucking I Robot Two coming. I'm not he gonna be. Out. I'm not denying that he's gonna be all right. I'm just saying it's clearly had a massively negative impact on his career. Oh, agree. Uh, I mean, during yeah. that time, I don't think right yeah, now. No. I think no, right, right now. now people are like agreeing with this slap. You feel me? Like, Nobody agrees with the slap. Uh, what are you? Not I, I, looking there was at the a comments? lot of people like you who were agreeing with it at the yes. time. But I, I feel like essentially everybody who agreed with that at the time should probably be able to admit by now that it was a terrible idea in the sense that. It amplified whatever magnifying glass was already on his wife in the first place. It amplified the bullying and the hating and the hate that she was getting so much. Like if his intent with slapping him was basically to like somehow minimize the amount of abuse his wife was taking, I'm sorry, it had the exact opposite impact. It made it top everybody that, talk about it. On top it. of that, then the Academy could go back to whitewashing the entire industry because that's the first Academy Awards where we they're go. focusing heavily on inclusion. <laughs> what? They're focusing, they're focusing heavily on inclusion. And then what happens? That kind of puts like a whole stain on that entire uh, trajectory. So then it's back to like, you feel me, um, Tom Cruise and uh, and all these. Angelina same, and Jolie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, even Chris Rock, like how he handled the situation, saying she's a bitch and everything like that. I mean, at that point, it was in our community. You should have said that back then when he slapped you. But you feel me? To like, be fair, like because well, this joke is personal. He, well, he's trying to. Be he waited a year. He waited a year to speak on it, and you got to give him some credit for that because it would have been the easiest thing in the fucking world for him to come out and be doing a special talking about it right afterwards. I think him waiting a year is pretty tasteful, especially considering that he was the victim in this situation. But yeah, he said, it, his, he said he's not the victim. He might not feel like the victim, but he is the one who got smacked in the face by Will Smith on TV, a much a larger special. band. I mean, I'm sorry. You you essentially are the victim here regardless. If there was a police report or if there was a, a lawsuit involved, you would be the victim. So he might not feel like a victim or want to present himself that way. But, I, I mean, I did notice that when he said the bitch word in, a, in the fucking stand-up special that it, it did feel like, oh, ooh, like... That, that's not normally something that you would see a comedian like Chris Rock say about another woman who's kind of like his peer. So to see that he was really like holding on to that sort of anger that he had towards her, I was, Bro, it was, was a little interesting. At that point, man, you, and your tone of voice, that shit was personal, dog. We'll need to go get you again. 
That, she does then, seem like a bitch, though. That shit was personal, dog. I mean, you could say that in that context, like, oh, she does seem like a bitch, but you can't be like, nigga, fuck that bitch. She knows her way better than us, so Why I'm not just kind of giving the benefit I, of I the do. doubt. I'm not going to call your girl a bitch because I feel like I, call, but what I, if, I, I crack jokes. If my girl did some bitch-ass shit, then I would expect you to call her a bitch. Nah. I don't know. Out of respect for you, we're never nah. going to call her okay, a bitch. Okay, but you and me are a little closer than Chris Rock and Will Smith, right? We don't know. True, but I mean, we're on a show together. So, <laughs> did, <laughs> yeah. Did his Jada yeah. afterwards like st- like talk down about Will doing that? Like, yeah, did, did, yeah. Like, that's why I said it made it even worse. And right. that's why, like, anybody who would argue that oh, Will Will was badass when he did that, as soon as she condemned it, it's kind of like okay, you can't really keep acting like this is a W. It's only one thing. Like, I agree with Chris Rock. What he said though is that there were a lot of people calling him a bitch. You know what I'm saying for the August Alcina thing. Like.